OK. So ladies and gentlemen, we have parallel lines. And they're not the prettiest lines in here, but we have parallel lines. But before, what we can do to determine our angle measure, we want to make sure we can relate how are these angles related to each other. All right? And one thing I noticed is we have parallel lines, and we know that their parallel lines are being crossed by transversal. All right? So when looking at parallel line, when we're looking at, we're trying to determine what the parallel lines. Remember, guys, when we looked at our vocabulary, we either had exterior, interior, or we had the corresponding angles. You look at these two, and you can see that these two angles are both inside the parallel lines. So Zeth, we call those, what do you call them when, on the, when they're on the inside? Yeah, but forget about the alternate or the consecutive. When they're inside the parallel lines, are they interior or exterior? Interior, right? So therefore, we only had two definitions that dealt with two interior angles. We had alternate interior or consecutive interior, right? Now remember, consecutive was like one right after another, and alternating meant like on opposite sides. So on here, we have two angles that are on the same side of the transversal. So what do you think would work better with it, alternating or consecutive, one after another? Exactly. So these two angles are what we call consecutive interior angles. And when you guys are doing all these problems, you're going to have to write this down. So you have consecutive interior angles. And then, Taylor, do you remember how consecutive interior angles relate to each other? They equal 180, exactly. You guys can see that these two angles don't look like they're the same measure, right? They don't look like they're the same measure. And exactly that's correct. In consecutive interior A angles are what we call supplementary, meaning they add up to 180. So if you develop a little equation like this, 100 degrees plus your uh, question mark here equals 180. Now to solve, question mark equals 80 degrees. OK? Cool? You guys excited? Yeah. All right. Um, anybody have any other questions on that?